If you go to the pharmacy, you expect to get a fair price, right? Especially if you have insurance. But the CBS 11i team has found that if you're not asking the right questions, you may not get the right price. You may, in fact, be overpaying. Investigative reporter Brian New with what you need to know to get cheaper medication. It was $45.99. For years, Wes Spencer assumed the price he was paying for prescription drugs. This one here was $125.99. Was the same price everyone else was paying. I just have to have the medicine and just go ahead and have to pay it. But recently, he found out he was paying more. At times, it's $103 difference. A lot more than others were paying for the same prescription drug at the same pharmacy. It's eye-opening. I mean, I could have put that money back for my kid's college. I could have put it back for, uh, you know, a mortgage payment, anything. Wes discovered he could save hundreds on his medications by using a free discount app like GoodRx. He can also save by not using something. Insurance. They don't understand that some medications truly are cheaper if they pay out of pocket rather than going through the insurance. The CBS 11 i team found prescription drugs often cost more with insurance than without it. Sounds counterintuitive, right? So we asked several local pharmacists to ring up the prices of commonly used medications, first with a popular insurance plan, then the same drug for someone without any insurance. Valacyclovir is a common antiviral drug used to treat cold sores, chicken pox, and shingles. The copay price with a popular insurance plan is $50. But if you never told the pharmacist you had insurance, the drug would cost $26.67. Here's another. Armored thyroid used to treat an underactive thyroid will cost you a $150 copay with insurance. If you don't have insurance, the price? $39.21 a difference of more than $110. These are not isolated cases. A recent study looking at nearly 10 million prescriptions filled found insurance copays are higher than the cost of the drug one out of every four times. This is how we've been trained. You know, you have to have insurance. It will help you save the money. For years, pharmacists like Ram and Bo Micaplano have known about this price discrepancy. But because of gag clauses made by insurers and pharmaceutical middlemen, pharmacists have been prevented from telling their customers. But not anymore. This past year, the federal government made these gag clauses illegal. But the key is you have to ask. And I'll be darned, it was significantly different uh, from what I was paying. Wes says when a friend told him he was paying too much for his medication, he was skeptical. But when he started adding up the savings, it's a big difference. Wes became a believer. Big difference. So here are the three things you need to do to get cheaper medication. One, let your doctor know that you are price sensitive. Oftentimes they can prescribe a generic or different medication that will work just as well. Two, check websites for free coupons such as GoodRx, Needy Meds, or Blink Health. We have links to all of these on our website. And even if the coupon is not for the pharmacy you go to, ask your pharmacist if they will match the price. We find out a lot of times they do. And finally, the best thing you can do is ask your pharmacist, is this the lowest possible price for my medication? Doug, a pharmacist should be able to look right there on their screen and see the cash price and see if that's cheaper than your copay. And, and they have to give you that cash price if they offer it up, correct? A absolutely. They have to tell you. So just, just ask. Information is power. Brian New, thank you very much. iTeam works for you 24 7. You got any tips or any questions for Brian or the team? They are an email away. Keep it handy. Use us anytime. iTeam at ktvt.com.